Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I think one of the questions I'm often asked is how do I decide whether to use the brush or the quill or um, tech pens. I mostly use brush in one, and I'm gonna show you why I think it comes in handy uh, most of the time. For this project, it is on paper that is not DC paper, and um, it bleeds quite a bit, so it really doesn't hold up to a quill or a tech pen with a harder tip. Um, it kind of shreds the paper, and the lines bleed, and with a lot of finer details, you're gonna and all the lines are gonna bleed into each other and you're gonna lose a lot of um, the line definition. So I have been using my brush for that main reason. This is the one time where I think that um, I'm more likely to use a brush over the other tools is when the paper quality is not so great and the most gentle tool you can use is the brush. Da, 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 da. And I have my usual Raphael. My Raphael, size two, because I know you guys are gonna ask, size two. But you can use whatever size, I've used three, four. Um, and okay, let's get going. Um, again, inking with this phone in front of me is really weird, so I'll try to stay on screen. But the other nice benefit of the brushes you can use, it holds a lot of ink. Right now I have this ink on here um, and I haven't done anything, so it might be dry by now. But you get a lot of um, different line weights and um, without having to switch tools so okay let's go here we go oh good it hasn't dried out on me yet but you can get these chunky lines sky has lots of little crate craters and a lot of texture on this guy Am I still on screen? Nope. I'm moving off. Okay. So you can also get some really nice fine lines such as these. And it's fun to get a lot of texture with it. So, okay, I'm, I'm messing up a little bit here. But you can play around with the texture quite a bit see it's still fully loaded with a ton of ink you hold quite a bit of ink okay let's and let's do this here oops sorry Again, I'm still working on the whole talking and inking thing. But. Oops. Sorry, going off screen. Um, okay, let's do. Again, I always like to add some curves to these lines because just to keep 
bit from looking too flat and it's just there we go oops Okay, I can show you some. We can do a tech pen with it too. Same thing with tech pens. Um, I have. Let's go with point three. Not to say that you can't use it. Let's hope it doesn't bleed too much, but. Doing too bad. Just certain spots bleed more than others. It's kind of fun to play with these sets of lines. So sort of like mm, I don't know if puzzle is a good word, but you could just keep it's like you can just keep adding on and play with the lines and just let them go wherever they want to. <laughs> Fade them out. Am I still on screen? I am. Okay. All right. But that's it. Just another session. I'm just working, so I'm just making you guys join me at work here. Thanks for joining me. Maybe I'll come back with some real topics someday. I'll get organized and I'll figure out what to say and what to do on these videos. But thank you for joining me, guys. Work in progress. That's my theme. That's me. We'll learn together. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.